Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Pivot and Dippin' Academy here on our YouTube channel. If you are a first time uh, visitor here, hey, do us a favor. Before we even get started, my name is Joe Von Grichten. I got my, my partner in crime here, Hunter the Pip Hunter Burkett. And uh, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. So right down below, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you uh, hit the bell so you get notified anytime we got a new video there. Because um, we've got lots of good stuff uh, on this channel for you. Uh, we basically broken down strategies <clears throat> for you uh, by indicators to help you guys out and kind of fine tune it. We've got a little something for everybody here. If you're new to trading or if you're an advanced trader, there's a little bit of something here for everybody to integrate into or potentially integrate into their uh, Forex strategy. So without further ado today, we're going to talk to you about something um, that is near and dear to our hearts, two uh, particular tools that we use on our charts uh, quite often that we really, really love. Uh, and uh, the beautiful thing about them is they're free. They're, uh, there's uh, just about any platform that you go on, whether you're on MT4 or you're um, on TradingView or some other research platform, uh, there are uh, these indicators pretty much are on all the platforms. They're all free, which are the TDI and the MACD or the MACD and the TDI, depending on which one you prefer. Uh, it's kind of funny because I like the MACD, Hunter likes the TDI, but we look both like vice versa as well just uh we prefer if we have to choose one over the other so we always uh that's how we came up with our pippin and dipping strategy and uh without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and let hunter take over here he's gonna share his chart with you and show you how we use uh the tdi in the macd uh in our trading plan or in our trading strategy i should say so without further ado hunter all yours buddy yo yo what's going on guys uh just like joe said uh these tools um are kind of you know dear to our heart you know i've always looked at trading i don't get me wrong if i could trade without indicators i would um i'm not the type of guy or have the mindset to completely naked trade um and the reason why is because i'm an analytical guy i like to have things uh analyzing data faster for me right and so but um i'm very specific and very, you know, I, I really hone in on, you know, I've tested a lot of indicators over in the past in my time. Um, and it was just, it was just me going down my own rabbit hole, right? So, but, um, you know, I really went back to the basics and really, uh, the basics of the, the, really the fundamental basics of trading um, and, and, and simplified, um, you know, trading in general. Uh, so I'm going to show you, you um, and, 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 and guys, this channel is never going to deviate um, from us showing you uh, any just just exactly how we trade. Me and Joe have two strategies, and that's it. That's all we trade, and, and they are a part of Market Maker. Okay, we are not going to show you the next Holy Grail indicator. We're not going to show you the next Holy Grail in, uh, uh, scalping strategy. That's not. That is a bunch of junk. That's a bunch of stuff that's going to lead you down a path that I promise you, you don't want to go down. It's very painful and you just don't want to go down it. So, uh, and also this channel is going to be a lot about mindset because that's 90% of this stuff mm -hmm. is, is uh, figuring out, playing this, uh, figuring out the psychology behind this market. And that's being patient. Um, that's really what this market consists of. Is that you guys, you get paid to be patient. That's it. That's 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 it. You get paid to be patient. You see your setup, you take it, and you patiently wait until you until the money is in hand and you're able to take your profits. Okay. So, with further ado, I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to uh, show you guys the first part of you know the TDI. Okay. I'm going to show you that, you know these are the pairs that I trade. If you guys want to lock in on those, lock in on them. The reason why I trade with them, there's a lot of correlation here between these pairs. And also, uh, you know, I love G pairs because they move frequently. Um, I love EG because it pays really well. I love EU because it pays really well. Um, I love gold. You guys, everybody loves gold. Um, so, but I'm going to get started into it. Uh, I'll, I'll start with EG. EG is a, is a very good example when it comes to this type of strategy. Um, and I'm just gonna go through here. Guys, this is the TDI. If you guys don't know what the TDI is, this is Trader Dynamic Index, okay? There's uh, 
multiple indicators built into this. You got you got your overbought and oversold zones. You've got your RSI. You've got your market baseline, and you've got your Bollinger Bands. And there's another line in here. It's an SMA line uh, for you know really of a crossover type of deal. I really don't. I don't need it uh, to uh, for my trading. I just like I said, guys. I'm going to show you something that's very basic, and I want to show you over, you know, this is over three weeks a period of time of where you've been, com would have been completely crushing the market just on one pair, okay? And it's just, and you know, as you, as you always been taught, you know, trade with the trend. Trend is your friend. It's, it's, it's true. That stuff's true. So, I'm going to show you. And this is completely t a part of market maker. If you guys trade market maker, you'll understand what I'm saying here. Uh, you know. Market maker has a, a market maker cycle, as you can see, an M pattern here, A, 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 as you can keep going, keep going down. But guys, to identify these, most people are like, well, Hunter, I don't know how to identify that type of stuff. I don't know if that's an A. I don't know if that's an A. Guys, it, if you can see what the TDI is giving at those areas, it's very, it's very, it's, it's almost, it can't be unseen. Like it's, it's, it's just like, if it was a snake, it'd bite you right so i'm going to mark up boxes okay as i can see these shark fins now i'm on the one hour time frame okay one hour shark fins okay one hour shark fins one hour shark fins one hour shark fin notice why he's doing that just so you guys understand what he's doing he calls them a shark fin because they come outside down below on the indicator. They come outside the Bollinger Bands, um, and that's how he's marking them up. But you use this specifically with the TDI. It's a it's a trading strategy that you can use, uh, and it works really really well. You'll see once he gets done marking up the chart here for you guys, um, these different areas of value. You'll see the power behind this. It's really really cool. Okay, so I'm marking up shark fins on the top side. And the reason why is because you guys can tell that we're completely in a downtrend. Um, um, you can mark up the bottom bottom uh, shark fins. Told you can do that, but it's going to leave. It's going to be a little bit more riskier. You can counter trade with this type of strategy, but you need to understand what your set looks like and how it's materializing before you take that set. Mm -hmm. Know where structures at. As you can tell, guys, we do have a. A support resistance indicator as you can tell it's pretty awesome like it's very precise do i still draw up levels absolutely i still have where i where, the, where this thing is not getting uh you know not creating boxes where structure needs to be um looked at i, I do mark up levels okay but as you can tell on the hour time frame it's done a pretty good job of figuring out where these where the party's at when it comes to uh where the structure's been right so you had a level here, you had a level here, it, 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 it painted a level here. As you can tell that it, it this was a green color, but it broke it and it turned it to a different color for you to make you understand that this structure has been broken, okay? So I'm gonna go back to the shark fin and I'm gonna go all the way back to um, here. And see guys, I'm not showing you something that happens, that just happens, you know, only once or twice every, every week or once or twice every two to three weeks. This happens all the time. This happens almost every day, you know, uh, with, with pairs. So that's plenty of shark fans. So what I'm going to do, this is how me and Joe trade these. What we do is we identify a shark fin on the on the higher time frame, right? We look at where our market's going. You always want to know where market sentiment's going, okay? You always want to check news before you even start trading. You always want to do that before you do that. You guys, you need to, you need to have a you need to have a trading plan, right? The first three things that you need to, to have is identify trend, identify key levels, and check news, okay? Before you start trading, before you even go into your trading plan, those three things is a must, okay? 
this and, and that's the that's the misconception of of what people think of forex is they think that this is just a thing that you can get into and you can place by yourself this guys this is a business it's it's a business if you want to be good at it you're going to have to if you want to, it's just like going to you know if you're going to do something you know great or whatever whatever you were when you were younger you know uh skateboard whatever you had to practice at it every day to be good okay same thing applies the same thing so what i'm going to do so I'm going to go to the 15-minute time frame, and as you guys can tell, look at what happens when these happen, okay? There's M and W patterns, or mostly these are going to be M patterns, okay? I'll zoom in on all these. So let me go back to the one-hour time frame. I want to see where I stopped at. So we'll go to January 22nd. Okay, right here. Hey guys. So I want to show you that this trade, a shark fin on the one hour time frame, time frame prints out a M or W pattern on the 15 minute time frame. Every time you get one, right? And guys, you guys know as well as we do, price action patterns are, are awesome, right? So as you can tell, you got a leg here. A comes up, comes back down, comes back up, comes back down, and forms an M pattern. Okay, now guys, some some people take trades when they see good price action, good bearish engulfings happening. They go ahead and take the trade because they they uh, they they they're confident in the trade. They're confident in that sharp fin, right? On the higher time frame. And they're, and they're looking where their structure's at, okay? Looking where they're at in the trend. I love taking my end patterns at the break of the neckline, okay? So once it gets broken, which would be on this candle, I'm in the trade, okay? And I'm taking this trade to the downside. My stop loss is here. So 18 pip stop loss, 20 pip stop loss. Boom, okay? Let's move on to the next one. As you can tell here, this was a sharp down, downward movement. It still can be caught, okay? So you have to understand, you have to understand what this pattern is. This is a market maker set. Set. It's a little bit more advanced. If you guys wasn't comfortable with this trade set, then just move on to the next one. Move on to where you can actually identify M pattern and take this set comfortably, confidently. That's how you're going to be great in this market is by getting your confidence up. Okay. As you can tell that this is an A, an a pattern. Okay. It still can be still can be taken. Right. Um, if you guys wanted to really, um, you know, if you wasn't really sure that you've got structure over here, guys, you got structure over here. If you wanted to break here, as you can see, it broke here, retested and it took off. Right. But at the end of the day, you've seen this volume coming in strong. Right. You seen this volume? You seen this big bearish candle right here break the 50, break the 200. Same on the on the TDI, guys. When this when when the 50 gets broken, the 50 is getting broken on the TDI as well. Okay, they they're the same thing. Like I say in all the videos, the 50 line on the indicators is the best line on the indicator than any of these lines. Okay, so once you got a, a pullback here, you got a you got a good bearish engulfing. Right here, you could have gotten a trade and swap the trade. Okay, but like I'm like I'm trying to teach you in this in this lesson is you know you can move on from this one if you wanted to. Okay, move on to the next one. Here's another. See what I'm saying? Here's another M pattern. Okay, neckline here. Boom. Right here. Right here. Right here. And right here once it broke get your you know you can you can be getting multiple entries inside of here and you can be taking the trade right here boom okay stop loss boom okay here's another one this is a little bit more funky you could probably you could probably scale down to the five minute and this would be a, a beautiful end pattern and you could have caught this caught this trade and as you can see guys i haven't been really going over it i can go back to the previous one and you see how that this 
this high here is equal with this high here, right? You've got right here, it's a little bit of an incline. This high came a little higher. Look at your indicator, okay? Here's that high. And there's that high right there. The RSI on the TDI is telling you something different, okay? Divergence, this is called divergence. If you see this in the market, it is a, it is a big confluence to your trade, okay? Big, divergence is big in this market, okay? There's the end pattern. Here's another end pattern. Let's move on. Here's another end pattern. Was it caught as a uh, shark fin, but still, if you guys are trading, like, and, and also what me and Joe teaching our pip and dipping strategy, there's gonna be two things that happen at these lines here that you see. This is the yesterday's uh, yesterday's low, yesterday's high, low of the, low of the week, high of the week. Guys, the price is gonna set up on these lines, MRW, or they're gonna breach it, retest it, and keep going. It'd be like if you went to the daily time frame and put a line at the top of the week and the bottom of the week of the daily candle, and then you understood, you you seen what it was going to do to that, past that daily candle. It's either going to go past it, below it, or is it going to go, is it is it going to go past it, above it, right? It's the same thing. Or is it going to consolidate in the middle of that candle, right? And as you as you can see, when I'm flipping the here, flipping through here guys there's w patterns and i guarantee you these are shark fins in the one hour time frame okay we'll go look at here another m pattern and i tell you earlier complete direct highs the same link look at your indicator divergence boom another m pattern neckline here break retest get in the trade smoke Okay. Same thing there. EG is not. EG doesn't move a lot, guys. It's, it's it's just not a real frequently moving pair. It does consolidate a lot, but when it does give you these patterns, you know, getting 20 pips on EG is is awesome because it pays. It's the 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 value of EG is is a lot is a lot better than most pairs. Okay. Another M pattern. Okay. Boom. Drop. There's another M pattern right here it's a little if you if you were in our group Pippin and Dippin Academy me and Joe would go in depth with you on M&W patterns on how on the reason why this this is considered an M pattern okay here's another M pattern another M pattern right this right here is is the trade here the box was over here so you got plus i wouldn't be let's see you don't want to be trading which we do teach that you don't want to be trading inside of asian anyway okay so boom neckline second leg right neckline break retest drop okay there's the other pattern that i was telling you about you just gotta you you're gonna have to get good with it, right? You're gonna have to get good when you start seeing price action like this, bearish and engulfings. You know what I mean? You're gonna have to understand what these what these candlestick patterns mean and where you are in the trend. Okay? Understand the news. Understand fundamentals. Why is why is EG still dropping? You know what I'm saying? So that all that plays a big factor in there. Another M pattern. Boom. Okay. I actually took this trade yesterday, okay? I took this trade yesterday. All right. That pretty much solves exactly what I'm saying about shark fins, guys. You can go to the four-hour time frame, and it's going to be the exact same thing. You get a four-hour shark fin, you got a, a M or W pattern on the one-hour time frame. And I'll show you an example here and here. Okay. Go to the one hour and look what you have. W pattern. 
left leg, very sharp, comes up, back up, and that same candle gives you some that, drops back down, down there to the same, you know, lows, breaks the neckline there, and takes off. Okay, same thing. Comes up, comes down, comes back up, breaks the neckline, retest, takes off. Okay, <laughs> same concept. And guys, you want to be looking at structure too as well, because these were directly, if you go to the higher time frame, you can tell that when price broke here, kept going, rejected off an area here. It was at a weekly low, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, it was at a weekly, it was at weekly structure here. Okay. So when it broke, which was a big fat W pattern on the weekly time frame, come back, retest the neckline of the, of the, I'm not saying that this pair can probably still keep going down. It has room to go down for sure. Okay. So daily time frame, we go back to the four hour. So what happened here is when it broke, broke this structure here. Okay. Kept moving down come back up, retested that same area, and broke again, okay? <laughs> so, easy peasy, guys. The reason why that, you're, you're, that you might not be catching traction right now is because you're not following one or two strategies. You know, we and Joe have a reversal strategy, and we have a continuation strategy, and that is it, right? And that's the only thing you should be focused on. Even if you are a type of person that don't want to focus on two things, you want to focus on one thing. And when that one thing pops up, which would, you know, this, you know, and this is a continuation strategy here. It's just, it's just M's and W's are, are, have this stigma of reversal, right? So, and which they are. So, but you know, they do happen in, in, in trending markets. So this was all nothing but continuation sets right but as you can see sometimes we get into ranging markets and you know lows and highs you can be trading inside that what i was talking about counter trade right right there's there's opportunities in here to counter trade trade you just got to understand where where you're at how it's reacting and what your set is okay so i don't think i need to go any further on the tdi i'm going to switch over here to my other account i've got the macd loaded up Guys, and the reason why I wanted to show you the MACD is because, yeah, the TDI is great. The TDI is wonderful. But when you find an M or a W pattern, we'll go back to EG so we can stay on the same set so you can understand. When you find an M and W pattern on e, uh, EG, I mean, uh, with the MACD, the divergence, what I was talking about, when the when price is telling you one thing, the indicator is telling you something different, is a lot more smoother, okay? So it's a lot more easy to read um, and things like that, right? And you can also use it to help you out with entries, okay? So I'll scroll, I'll, I'll know exactly where, I'll just go find a couple of them, okay? I'll find a really good one, as you can see. Like right here, guys, like this, this, this started from this drop, which was that, four hour shot thing, okay? This was that drop. This divergence started from way back here, okay? But look at your MACD, look how smooth it is, okay? Look how smooth that is, right? Break the neckline, retest, take the trade, okay? Just like right here, this is divergence here. Didn't go all the way back down to the low, but it was close, right? It's close and you got divergence here look how smooth it is okay let's go to the end pattern that's really nice so I can show you like right uh, I know that one said it you go right here okay the same one that we were looking at right here a little bit of an angle here a little bit and then look at your magnet you want to really look at the white line instead of the black because it's giving you a little bit more of an edge of you know reading reading better 
It's 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 more reactive than the black line. The black line is more of a smooth than a fast. Um, so this white line is a little bit more better to read, but still. And you can also read it on this histogram, guys. As you can tell, same almost the same highs. It was had volume here, and then when it got to the next high, the volume was completely down. Okay, same thing. So this is what I wanted to show you on the MACD. And also you got crossed up on the MACD. You were crossed down here. So once you got your entry and you were still crossed up, your, you, 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 your confidence was even more high. And do we have other things that, uh, that we use to help us get inside of the trade? Absolutely. Well, you know, that's inside of our academy. We're not gonna, you know, sh you know show all of our nuggets because we want we want to we want you to be a part of our academy. Um, you know, it's not it's not that um, that we want to make money off of you. That's not it at all. What we really want to do is show you exactly what we have, and we know that it can help you. And that's the reason why that we want to um, want you inside of our academy because we know what it can do for you. Our students are killing it with this same strategy. Okay, and and guys, you got to remember. The, the market does three things. It trends, it reverses, and it consolidates. What you want to do is capture the reversal and the trending part of it. That's it. That's it. And there's other things that we go over inside of our academy that will help will help you understand the reason why that uh, it's consolidating. It, we can show you on, the, on, on an indicator when not to get into the trade, when to get into the trade, right? So, and the reason why I wanted to show the MACD, Joe, just like you said at the beginning of the call, he's more of the favor of the MACD. I'm more of the favor of the TDI. I've been using the TDI ever since I started trading market maker two years ago. Um, so, but I have been a big fan of the MACD now. He's really molded me into it because of, of you know, our, our continuation strategy, uh, which we have shown you guys, which I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit of it right now. So let's take this here. You've got this. In a, this is an amazing set here. Okay, so you're coming. You're 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 trading here, and you're understanding where your trend's going, right? Let's 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 trade with the trend, so I can show you, show you guys, and I'll find a set that's really, really really good. Actually, I'll go to a, a better pair. EG is more right here. Here's a here's a perfect set. Okay. Well, it's not really good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I want to find a good one. Okay. This is this is an amazing one right here. Okay. It doesn't happen this pretty all the time. I'll show you the other ones that I did see. Um, but guys, okay. So what you're doing is you're uh, you're identifying every day. We are intraday traders. Okay. And this is the reason why I love the MACD. You're, we're intraday traders. Okay. We do have other, like I said, we do have other tools to help us that alert us when this is happening. Okay. So that's why we want to help you. We know that we have the sauce. So when this is happening, okay, as you can see, you're identifying where you are in the market. You're understanding where your yesterday's high is, your high of the days, low of the days are, high of the weeks, low of the weeks, right? And remember what I told you at the beginning. It's going to do two things. It's going to set up on it, reverse off of it, or it's going to keep going, right? As you can tell, price broke the yesterday's high, which was, that was structure, okay? That was structure. Broke kept going you didn't know that it was going to keep going right you need you need something to confluence you that it's going to keep going okay so what it did is it broke came up retested didn't come all the way back which is that's the reason why we use the 50 line 50 line like a, and we do we do do a lot of analysis and a lot of teaching on this 50 line trust me okay so now what did it do it created another little structure okay so what i would have done is draw me a line Okay, once it broke here with some nice volume, which it did, I want you to look at the MACD, okay? And understand which it was on the next candle, which is fine. I'd like to see a little retest anyway. So on this candle, when it closed, after it's done broken structure, it crossed up above the zero. Remember when I was telling you about the zero line and the 50 line on the indicators? When you're above the zero on the 50 line, you're 
that that indicator is telling you that the market is in a, is in an uptrend. You're 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 in an upward movement. Okay, so the same thing when you get a MACD cross above the zero, it's a lot more high probability for you to take a trade in the upward position. Okay, when it's above the zero, vice versa when you're in the downtrend. Okay, and I can show you when you're below, which the which you know will help you. Well, this pair's been trending up for a while, so I'll show you a, a set. Uh, Just so you guys know, too, the zero line on the MACD, it runs, it's basically like where you see the blue and red histogram <clears throat> that runs throughout that indicator. If you split those in half, like the, the midline between there, that's the zero line. That's how you know without having it drawn where the zero line's at. So it is really kind of important. Um, so when you're above the zero line, you should only be looking for buys. And when you're below the zero line, you should only be looking for sales. Um, exactly. So it's a good good rule of thumb. Uh, and what he's showing you here is like, it's so pretty. It's so, it looks easy and it is easy um, if you're patient. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to put a line in there hey, look. okay so as you can as you guys catch my drift this is our continuation set see we're giving you more than we you know we, we're giving you a lot we're giving you a lot of value guys you can take this stuff here and apply it and you will win it's just that we have other things that do the heavy lifting for us okay if that makes sense so uh or do we have do and, and guys what i showed you with this tdi this tdi has alerts I will give this to you completely for free. It gives you the alerts when this stuff is happening. Okay? All we want to do is help you. Do we want to be do we want you to be a part of our community? Absolutely. We do. We want we want to mold you into a good trader, right? Because we understand where where the struggle is. We understand all that stuff. So and we want to help you with your mindset. That's the that's the number one thing that we want to help you with. Um, because that's that's the biggest key to success in this market it ain't this indicator i promise you hmm. um so um as you can see structure broken macd cross up on the zero right look how look look how active that trade was 200 and something pips okay on the 15 minute time frame we're intraday trading as you can look on the hour you can tell that this 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 pair is completely in an upward upward trend upward movement guys also, I've taught on the EMAs. You can go back and look, watch our EMA video above the 50. That is what current price is doing on the hour time frame. Okay. My 200 is telling me what this price is doing on the four hour. So I don't have to flip back and forth of, of uh, time frames to understand where this price is going to go. I've gotten my signature trade. I'm above these EMAs. I'm in an upward movement, right? I've done check my key levels, my, my identify my trend. I've done check news, see what CHF is doing. I mean, what the Swiss is doing, what the, uh, the pound's doing, and I'm executing, okay? So, as you can, if you want to look at that set one more time, I'll show it, I'll show it to you. I don't remember where I draw it at. There it is right here, okay? And there's completely a lot more in here, guys, but you have to understand, okay? And you have to be patient. Here's another set right here that happened, okay? Another set right here. You got in the trade, did exactly what you wanted to do, broke that yesterday's high, retest. Keep going, going, right? Oh, it pulled back on you. It's totally fine, guys. If you had your if you had your stop loss in the correct area, which is here, you never got hit and you reaped the benefits, okay? Same thing here. Okay, guys, so you have to understand this stuff. You have to, and guys, these are little bitty, as you can tell that this, boy, I'm not going to spill all the beans. We'll teach you. Me and Joe, <laughs> me, me and Joe will teach you. Okay, so uh, that's that's it for me. I, 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 I think I've pretty much dropped some, some good nuggets here. You guys can take this, run with it. If you have any questions, drop them in the chat. Drop them in, I mean, uh, drop them in the comment section below. Yeah. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you have to say. If you have any really uh, hard questions that you want to ask or have anything, questions about this alone, reach out to us on our Facebook group. We're going to uh, link, the, uh, link it in the description below and let's get on a call. Let's get on a call. See where you're at. See where you're at with your mindset and let's get you plugged in and let's get you winning.
Yeah, guys. Uh, I mean, great job, Hunter. I mean, you guys saw the power of the TDI. So the TDI you can use for shark fins. Uh, the MACD you can use for the continuation trades. So basically for your M's and W's or your counter trend trading, you can use the TDI. For uh, your continuation sets, you use the MACD looking for that crossover above the zero or below the zero and voila, be patient, get in the trade and <clears throat> take your pips. Uh, guys, It's it really is that easy and it kind of goes back to what Hunter said and he said it quite a few times is I'm a firm believer that trading is really about 10% technical and 90% mindset uh, it, because it's all about controlling your emotions. It's all about uh, understanding your, you know, without going too deep, understanding your subconscious with your conscious mind, connecting the two. So that's a really deep statement. But really the gist of it is, is that you can tell yourself that in your mind that you want to do something, but if your your subconscious, your experiences that you have that are way down deep and they're like almost habits like that you don't even realize that you have that are built inside of you, like if they don't align, then you'll have some challenges with trading. So it's really, really important. We can teach you the TDI, we can teach you the MACD. Um, it's very simplistic. There isn't, it, it really trading isn't rocket science. It's more managing your mindset. Um, so with that, if you're interested, check in the description below. We have a link there to our academy. We'll also go ahead and put in um, links to these uh, indicators that we were talking about in the video. So the MACD and the TDI, we can show you. We'll give you some links to those. Um, other than that, guys, like Hunter said, leave your questions, leave your comments. We'd love to hear you say, I subscribe in the comments. Excuse me, and if you have a question after that, go ahead and leave it for us. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Excuse me, guys. I apologize. Um, other than that, thank you for stopping by today. Uh, our YouTube channel, we're so excited that you're here. And we hope, look forward to seeing you at the next video. Until then, guys, enjoy pipping and dipping. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.